Yo, yo, what is up? So, we gotta do some, uh, horror game stuff today. Um, Stitcher King, yo, what up, Stitcher King? What you got going on? Mr. Direxus, what up? What up, what up? What you got going on? Uh, Robert, yo, yo, what up? Poncho, hey, what's up, Poncho? <laughs> Marius, yo, what up, Marius? Carrie, is it actually the one and only? It is, it is. What up, Marius? What you got going on? So, I bought those Udemy courses yesterday. Hello, motherfucker. I bought those Udemy courses, so I'm learning some C++ the uh, a better way now. Junum, yo yo, what up? What you got going on, Junum? How did C++ go? It went, it went well. It went well. So yeah, like I was just saying, I bought those Udemy courses, so I'm gonna be learning C++ through that now. I can't stream that stuff sadly because it's paid for stuff. Honestly, bad. Carrie, what's up? Honestly, bad. What you got going on? What up, what up? So yeah, today... Today we're gonna be starting a new game, though. I've been wanting to start a smaller horror game on the side. Something I can, um... Something I can... Get done faster than an RPG. So yeah, that's what we're gonna be starting today. While we're... While we're just chilling, chilling here. Uh, I'm gonna pull in my... I'm gonna go ahead and migrate over my... My new material pack that I bought. <laughs> Yo, Carrie, what up, Mr. Directus? What you got going on? Um, you can stream me anytime, Daddy. I mean, Carrie. Oh wow, oh wow. But where is Kenny? I don't know. I haven't seen Kenny yet. I haven't seen Kenny yet. Horror game time? Yeah, horror game time. So we're gonna be uh. All we're going to be doing in this stream is just kind of coming up with ideas. We're going to be throwing some ideas around and um, seeing what we come up with. Because the other other day, people were kind of coming up with some, some kind of interesting ideas. So, I had an idea in mind already, but I think we could come up with something more cool. If we kind of like sit on it, think about it, talk about it. How's it going, Carrie? It's going good. It's going good. So yeah, I gotta show you all this new material pack that I bought. It is friggin' beautiful. <laughs> We're gonna, I'm gonna be migrating this over to the project. But look how pretty it is. Look how pretty. Um... I finally, finally finished the Dynamic Sky and Weather course, and I'm starting the uh, course on the Niagara system to do some uh, different effects. Hell yeah! Did it turn out good? You got some badass weather going on? Yeah, check out this material. This landscape. <laughs> My PC couldn't handle this. Oh yeah, yeah. This this material was pretty expensive off the rip, but like I, I put it in my RPG last night, and I changed a bunch of things about it to make it a little bit more... More efficient on performance but uh it is so pretty so nice but yeah i'm gonna go ahead and migrate this over to the uh horror project so let's do that uh right now it's called being beneath the manor but we could change that once we figure out what we're gonna do we'll just do that So the horror game is going to be kind of open world? I don't know yet. We got to come up with the idea. But either way, if we have landscape, we can use this landscape material. And if we don't have landscape, we can just delete it from the project. 
Um, landscape is sexy. The landscape is sexy. Uh, Casey, yo, 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 what's up, Casey? What you got going on? What up, what up? I did the foundation uh, that the course taught. Now I'm going further, much further. How so? <laughs> How so? Yo, yo, uh, yo, open world horror game will be crazy game, dude. For real? It would be crazy. But I, technically, Choo Choo Charles was open world, right? Choo Choo Charles was Choo Choo Charles. <laughs> I feel like I've played a few like open world-ish horror games. I think we're gonna get some lag from the migration, but hopefully that clears up. Options menu? Hell yeah. Hell yeah. Yeah, good old options. Yeah, it ran smooth for me. It ran pretty decent. Choo Choo is a uh, Brazilian games. You know that one? Uh, I don't know Choo Choo. I know Choo Choo Charles. <laughs> I really like story-oriented uh, games where it's really atmospheric. You don't know what's going to happen next, and it's not too linear. Story or story-oriented horror games. And me too. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's the, the I would like to kind of stick to like that as a horror game. I'm not really into the whole like back rooms, like multiplayer stuff that's been going on recently. So anything like that is pretty much out of the question. I'm not into it. <laughs> so, yeah. I agree. I'm the same way, Stitcher King. <clears throat> okay, so... Tutorial is almost over. Good, we on the same page? Yes, yes. Yeah, yeah. I, I'm, I'm, I would say me, in general, I prefer story-oriented games. Like, all around. Most of the games that I would be interested in making would be definitely story oriented. Okay, so we got the material migrated. What's up, man? Honestly, bad. What you got going on, man? Okay, so for now, we aren't even going to be in Unreal Engine. We're going to be in, is it WordPad? I have two different. Yeah, WordPad. Let's just come up with ideas. We will call, and then we'll put some of these ideas into ChatGPT and such. Hell, Gordo, side game time? It is side game time. It is side game time. What you got going on? All right. So we'll just call this horror game ideas. This is what we're going to do. So, we'll come up with one right here. Um, here I'm going to have to pull up the... Uh, I'm going to have to pull up the stream on the, on the side here to see the YouTube chat. It's hard to see. Uh, let's see. <laughs> Very happy to hear that it ran smoothly. I guess uh, the tick isn't a big uh, idea because it's only running when a critical event is happening uh, that needs it, like exiting the CC and returning to the main menu. Idea equals deal. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, like I was saying, like, you know, just if you're not running like a shitload of stuff on tick, it's not really that big of a deal. Like, you could probably like plug that tick in and unplug it and look at your frames per second and probably see zero difference. <laughs> so. Unless you got some crazy shit going on, Tick, it's not that big of a deal. Man, a lot of good updates on the game yesterday. Hell yeah, what'd you get? What did you get? There was a Siren Head game uh, where it was relatively open world. I really liked that one. I feel like I've heard of Siren Head. Yo, just woke up 20 minutes ago. Hell yeah. Well, good morning. Very nice. Hell yeah. All right, so I'll go ahead and throw out the first idea. Uh, I've had a, a horror idea that I think it would be cool to do like medieval horror. And if anyone else has any ideas, they could throw them out as well. So medieval horror. 
Um, first person. Uh, yeah, we just medieval horror first person, straightforward something medieval, ish. <clears throat> Thank you, it is 5 p.m. here. Well, I mean, it's still... I think good morning still works. That still well, works. Not like the Flash at all. Some would say I'm the reverse. Yo, it's Lord Kenny. What up, Lord Kenny? What up, Lord Kenny? What you got going on? We coming up with ideas. We coming up with ideas. Uh, let's save this. I'm just gonna save this to this folder for now and then yeah file name or game ideas there we go That instantly makes me think of those eerie dungeon under the castle of Resident Evil Village. Yeah, yeah, it could be something kind of like that. I think medieval horror would be cool because, like, what medieval horror games exist out there? It's an idea I've had for a minute. Hi, man. What up, Lord Kenny? Not much. I've just, uh, about finished the game design document, and it is so damn long, man. Oh, for your, uh, ARPG. Hell yeah. Yeah, we're, that's what we're kind of doing here. We're coming up with ideas and... And, uh... Yeah. How are you, Carrie and Directus? I'm doing pretty good. Doing pretty good. How are you? So yeah, you wanna, it's gonna be fun on the bun. Uh, T Sapa, I appreciate the follow. Welcome in, welcome in. So, do you want to go kind of open world or more linear, but still maybe pretty open, uh, locked areas, but gives uh, the feeling of opens? Um, I'm pretty much open to any kind of idea. If we come up with an idea that's cool, that's like manageable, I'm pretty much open to any kind of idea. <laughs> That's what we're doing here. We're just coming up with the idea. See what we come up with. Use GPT for a bit of help with it. Yeah, yeah, we'll be doing the same thing here. Once we get like a few ideas down here, we'll throw them into GPT and kind of see, kind of see what we get. And then we can, uh, I've never done a poll on Twitch, but maybe we could do some polls and uh, vote on the ideas that we come out, that we, that we get. I'm awesome, thank you, man. Hell yeah, hell yeah. Hell yeah. Okay. So. Uh, I guess we can open up GPT. And just get some ideas going. Chat. GPT. And let's just go new chat. Uh, let's just type in horror. Here's a suggestion. You got a suggestion? What's the suggestion? Kamiko, yo, medieval horror, Witcher. I mean, uh, I mean, maybe not Witcher, but like medieval setting. But what up, Kamiko? What you got going on? What up? What up? Uh, Jim and I told me this. You play as a uh, brother, Ethelred, a disgraced inquisitor of the Holy Order. Banished to the uh, frontier of the kingdom, the blighted uh, marches. This land is shrouded in a uh, perpetual mist, plagued by strange occurrences and rumored to ha uh, be a haven for heretics and dark secrets. Is that for like a, a medieval horror? Is that what you typed in to Gemini? Uh, um, here's a suggestion. Escape room experience or addition. You could add some uh, escape room things in the game you wanted to basically um let's see let's just type in uh escape room or yeah hell yeah hell yeah okay so we got two 
We got two down. Got two down so far. So, let me just go ahead and save. Of course, it's still horror, obviously, but with some uh, escape room stuff in there, too. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We can see what we come up with that. Hell yeah. Okay. So, let's see. Let's see what GPG throws out at us. Horror game ideas... I like the medieval horror idea. It takes place in a town slash city about a witch that is summoning the uh, undead and demons and shit. Yeah, yeah. I've always liked the idea of medieval horror because, like, there's almost no... No... No medieval horror games. El Gordo, you play as a peasant being hunted by the, uh... King for sport. <laughs> uh, alright, let me throw... Let me, let me, uh... Let me copy some of these chats and we'll just throw them in. Since we're getting a few different, a few different horror ideas here, we can add like a uh, one point two or one point one, and we'll post paste that idea in there. We can do one point two. Um, what was the other one? Honestly, bad's idea. Let's see. Let me grab that one. Uh, takes place in town city about a witch that is summoning the undead and demons and shit. <laughs> we can copy that one in there. And then we got El Gordo posted something here. Play as a peasant being hunted by a king for sport. That'd be messed up. Kind of like uh, the Hunger Games, something like that, but like a little different. <laughs> <laughs> uh, 1.3 Um I really like realistic horror games, but if I remember correctly, uh you wasn't a fan of that? No, I'm I'm a f I'm cool with realistic horror. I like, uh, I just kind of like, um, like, I'm a big fan of, uh, like, fantasy and stuff in general, but, like, now when it comes to horror, I'm cool with, like, realistic horror as well. I've seen all these examples from ChatGPT before, you should try Gemini. We could try Gemini as well. Here, let me pull it up. We, we can, we can hop between both. See what we get from both. Gemini, chat to supercharge your ideas. This, do I need a, an account? Uh, what the hell is this? Do I have to go all the way down? There we go. Uh, continue. Cool. We can use both. We can use both. Um. A game that uses all the anxieties humans have? Yeah, 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 yeah. I definitely like the anxiety in a horror game. Ryan Hawkins, lurk at work. Hey, I appreciate the lurk. I appreciate the work. I, uh, enjoy your work. Enjoy your work. A buried, uh, alive game? I die? Hmm. How would that work, though? How would that work? There's a really sick, uh, buried alive horror game I've seen. Oh, really? Connects with your Google account? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. The, the Gemini called buried alive on steam literally just called buried alive sick in what way i need to search that good sick or horror type bad sick here let's see let's see what that one is uh let's see let's see what el gordo said whoops damn it there was a Slenderman game that came out a while back it was a small game but i played uh the shit out of it a Slenderman game yeah, I remember when Slenderman stuff popped off. Or let's see what the Buried Alive game is. Is the goal to, like, try to get unburied? Buried Alive. Is it this? Breathless Rescue, Buried Alive VR, Buried Alive the Annihilation VR. 
Which one of these? Maybe this one? So I guess you start buried and then you try to find your way out of wherever the hell you're at, right? It kind of seems like what it is. Ooh, I like the atmosphere of this. I mean, it just came out towards the end of last year. looks pretty good actually um let's see Carrie since you kind of want a shorter project than an RPG I feel like an open world story or oriented game a uh, horror game would uh, take much longer than most horror games especially if there is no real uh, game loop like in uh, <clears throat> scrut uh, scrutinize etc breath of rescue yeah 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 I mean I mean, you could definitely pull off open world horror and it not take forever. Like, look at Choo Choo Charles. Like, something like Choo Choo Charles is technically open world horror, but it's so simple. Like, you could pull it off and it not take forever. It just depends on what you're trying to do with it. Like, let me find Choo Choo Charles. Because, like, I think... How long did it take me to beat Choo Choo Charles? Looks like it took me about three hours to beat Choo Choo Charles. Carry question, have you played any VR games? Barely. I played a few VR games a few years ago when one of my buddies had had a like PS VR and that's like all I've done with VR games. So like barely and it's been years. That looks awesome. I agree with that. Yeah, yeah. I mean, it does definitely doesn't have to be um something like open world. I definitely lean more towards games like Bindi and the Dark Revival and like Fears the Fathom. Like those kinds of games that are pretty like linear layers of fear but layers of fear is freaking huge how long did it take me to beat this like 14 hours suffer the suffer the night was pretty cool it took me about six hours to beat that one that one was pretty linear yeah let's see what uh chat gpt gave us here are a few horror game ideas that you might find intriguing. Eldritch Encounters. Set in a remote fog shrouded town nestled deep in the uh, mountains, players assume the role of investigators exploring strange occurrences. As they delve deeper, they uncover Eldritch horrors lurking beneath the surface. With each encounter more terrifying than the last, the game could blend elements of uh, psychological horror with cosmic dread, drawing inspiration from Lovecraftian lore. Not bad. I mean, that's kind of... Um, it's kind of the same idea behind what I had originally, but the initial starting setting is differently different. I like the idea of a uh, Fears the Fathom game combined with uh, game mechanics from like Visage or uh, even Resident Evil. Yeah, I love the Fears the Fathom games. Yeah, those are good. Uh, I never played Visage though. So I'm not really sure how those mechanics are, but I have played, I played the Resident Evil 4 thing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Kind of like how every now and again you get like uh, an area to like upgrade some gear and stuff like that, like in Resident Evil. But it's pretty linear. You go through the level, get through the shit kind of thing. That game is terrifying. My favorite horror game by far. Hell yeah. How much is it? I've heard good things about it. Uh, Visage, 35 bucks. Not too bad. Nah, not really, but like how the puzzles work. Oh, I see, I see, I see. Here, let me, uh, let me throw this on my wish list. Yeah, I definitely want some, some puzzles and stuff. It's pretty kind of a, a standard of horror games, having puzzles and stuff. Stuff like that. Let's see 
Let's see what else we got here. A haunted asylum. Players are paranormal investigators tasked with exploring an abandoned asylum that's rumored to be haunted. As they navigate uh, decrepit, uh, the decrepit halls and shadowy corridors, they must uh, solve puzzles and evade uh, malevolent spirits that roam the premise, premises. The game, game could incorporate atmospheric sound design and eerie visuals uh, to intensify the sound of the dread. That sounds pretty cool. Uh, you could use Horror Engine to shorten down the uh, coding by by a big bit. Do you know about that? It's on UE5 Asset Store. Yeah, I think I have it. Uh, let me pull up my Epic. I think I have it. I don't think I'm going to use it, though. I kind of like doing everything from scratch. I have more control over it that way. But I'm pretty sure I have it. Yeah, I've got it. Maybe they have some assets, though, that we could grab. Maybe. It does seem to have kind of the general mechanics that I'm looking for, like the inspecting the, the items and stuff like that. We could maybe grab some things from it. I might migrate it to the project and see what's in here. We might be able to snag some things from it, depending on what we decide on. Uh, I kind of like this idea, the Haunted Asylum idea. Let me grab this one. For example, inspection stuff, objective system, etc., etc. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I saw they have some of that, so yeah, we might just snag some of that parts of it and and use it. Marius, carry. What's up, Marius? I'm going to the store. Hell yeah! Enjoy your uh, enjoy your store experience. <laughs> um, so this one's kind of cool. It's in my regards to Kenny, I shall. I shall. Okay, so we got three ideas there. Uh, let's do a save. Marius, hey, there's Kenny. Buy some cop Bueller? What, what the hell is that? <laughs> what is that? Survival in the wilderness, uh, stranded in a dense for foreboding forest. Players must uh, fend off supernatural entities while trying to find a way back to civilization. With limited resources and relentless adversaries lurking in the darkness, every decision could mean the difference between life and death. The game could emphasize survival mechanics and intense atmospheric gameplay. It seems kind of kind of bland. Isolated island mystery. Oh, we got ads. Let's wait on the ads. Final ad. Oh. Was that Lord Kenny? Was that Lord Kenny again? Or was that actually me? <laughs> it was Lord Kenny. <laughs> you sneaky son of a bitch. That happened earlier when I was doing something. But it was actually a real, real one. Hell yeah. I appreciate the biddies. I appreciate the biddies. Um, 
Swedish meatballs? Hell yeah. Hey, work is getting in the way. I want to participate, but I can't. I totally want to gaslight a player via uh, visuals, sounds, and stuff. Hell yeah. That freaking work. Jobs, man. I hate jobs. <laughs> but hell yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I definitely want to do something. I want to try to do something good. For sure. Here, let me catch up on the YouTube here. Um, Dabbing Pikachu. Hi. What's up, Dabbing Pikachu? That is indeed a Dabbing Pikachu on your picture there. <laughs> but what up? What you got going on? Um, you could ask Gemini something like, give me an uh, original idea. Um, for a pretty story-oriented horror game, but out of the box. That would make it stick out from the other games. Um, here, let's just copy and paste what you, you wrote. And put that in Gemini. Uh, where'd it go? Yeah... Let's do that. Let's see what we get. Uh, the flower collector setting a vibrant, whimsical world painted in a uh, watercolor style. <laughs> Think soft hues, rolling meadows, and quaint cottages. So immediate off the rip, stylized. But it doesn't have to be that way. We can just see what the story is you play as amelia a young girl with a uh, unique fascination with uh wilted flowers she believes they hold stories and whispers of a uh, time past exploring the world amelia collects these uh wilted flowers carefully pressing them into her herbarium as she collects the world around her starts subtly changing colors become slightly more muted shadows grow longer and whispers seem to follow her horror element as Amelia, Amelia collects more flowers, the whispers become uh, voices, revealing the tragic story behind each wilted bloom. <laughs> These stories tell of uh, lost love's dreams shattered, and lives cut short. Oh god. <laughs> Hell yeah. Hmm, seems interesting. Do we like this idea? I'm trying to think of what the gameplay loop for something like this would be. Like, I kind of like the concept, but what is the loop? Here, let me catch up here. Deliberately mislead them with, uh... What did and didn't happen earlier in the game? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, throw them off in some kind of way. I've seen a few games do some things like that. Kind of like an uncover like mystery kind of horror game where like you're trying to like uncover some kind of like information about some shit that went down but like you're misled the whole entire way and then at the end you kind of figure out what it, what actually it is Kamiko the elite lurker hope you're having a good day indeed indeed uh let's see hey i appreciate all the biddies but like what Kamigo said, imagine having a character in the game gaslight you, uh, tricking you into thinking things that happen, uh, that never did, etc. Hmm. What is that? I think he forgot about the horror party? Who? Who forgot about the horror party? Yeah, you get it, Stitcher? Hell yeah. <laughs> Who forgot about the horror party? It gave me a much cooler idea. What's the idea? Also, did any of you play Slay the Princess? Slay the Princess sounds familiar. I don't think I've played it, though. Slay the Princess. Yeah, I've heard of this. I haven't played it, though. Ooh, this looks interesting, though. The idea sounds awesome. Yeah, I like kind of like the concept behind it, but I don't. I'm not really seeing the loop, the like the gameplay loop that's in it. Like you collect flowers and scary things happen. Is kind of what I'm getting out of it. <laughs> horror part about Gemini's happy flower game. Yeah, we said horror game, and it was, gave us a game about flowers. Here, let's paste it in again. Or can we just say something else? 
Let's see what else it gives me. <laughs> Jim and I's idea was better when I asked. Yours was semi-weird with flowers and stuff. Yeah, what the fuck? Here, let's see. Let's see what this one is. Echoes of the Unfinished. Um, a decaying abandoned opera house shrouded in a perpetual twilight. Ooh, that's immediately kind of cool. An opera house horror game. Uh, you play as uh, Evelyn, a young sound engineer hired to prepare the opera house for a uh, demolition project. As she records ambient sounds for historical purposes, Evelyn starts picking up faint echoes of unfinished performances. Those echo echoes don't just capture the music, but also the emotions and tensions of the... Uh, uh, of the performers trapping fragments of their unfinished stories. Ooh. Ooh, this one's kind of cool. I actually kind of like this one. The echoes become increasingly detailed and uh, disturbing, revealing stories of betrayals, jealousy, and even murder within the Opera House's past. As Eve Evelyn delves deeper, uh, the echoes start to manifest as phantoms, reliving their tragic moments within the, the decaying halls. That one's pretty cool. I like this one. This one's pretty cool. Opera House. Ooh, never heard of that. Yeah, this one's pretty cool. I'm writing this one down. Auditory horror seems sick. Yeah, I like this one. Let's let's uh let's throw this one on the idea list. Cheeto burrito, sup dude? What's up, Cheeto? It's been a while. What have you been up to? What up it up? I like the flower one in the uh if the flowers were representative of memories or something. Yeah, I'm just trying to think of like what the, the loop would be. Would it be like as you collect flowers, like maybe they send you into like these, like, yeah, like what you're saying, like maybe they send you into these like memories and you got to get through these like levels. That, that kind of almost reminds me of something like... Uh, what is the game? In Sound Mind, I believe. We're basically... Yeah, you go through these memories. In Sound of Mind, this horror game. And basically, you kind of, like, free all these... All these different people of their... Like, messed up past and stuff. So, like, maybe as you collect flowers, they, they send you into... Into memories, and then you get through the level... And like kind of free. Maybe the flowers represent souls. And then the souls have these messed up uh like past these or like they they like died in a messed up way or something, and you gotta like free their soul in some kind of way. Cause that's kind of how Insound Mind works. But we could do it kind of like with flowers. <laughs> we could add it to the list. It's not it's not too bad of an idea. Um, let's let's just write it though. Horror game about collecting flowers, and as you collect collect flowers, they uh. Hmm, hold on. Let me let me think of how I want to wear this. We're game about collecting flowers, and the flowers represent souls that had uh, traumatic experiences, and the flowers send you into levels, uh, or send you into past experiences that you have to get through to help free the souls. Something like that, right? Gaming, dabbling, all the usual. How are you? I'm good. Hell yeah. What you been playing lately? Yeah, I've just been in Unreal Engine land for a while. <laughs> but hell yeah. Ooh, saving souls? Yeah, something like that. I think that would be a good way to make that into a, a gameplay loop. Like you... 
like we would have to figure out a solid intro for like getting into like collecting flowers and stuff like that but like somehow you end up in this place or like this open field and then like as you collect flowers they send you into these different levels that are like these past traumatic experiences to yeah <laughs> If you're set in medieval times and your uh, your village of family convinces you you're crazy, but you're just seeing messages from the dead, hmm, we could write that one down. <laughs> is that for the flower idea or is this a new idea? We'll copy that one. So we're definitely getting some some interesting ideas here. Let me just fix the some of the spelling stuff. Convince says you you're crazy. We're just seeing messages from the dead. There we go. Something like that. Yeah. I'm back. Welcome back. Welcome back, Marius. I can make creepy piano music for you. Oh, that would be dope. Do you know how to play piano? That would be dope. Creepy piano music is always useful in horror. Now I need help deciding uh, the dinner choices are between mac and cheese, uh, risotto with chicken, or lasagna. I say... I like lasagna. If I ever hear lasagna, I always go with la lasagna. <laughs> that story sounded quite sad with the music in the background. Yeah, uh, funny enough, YouTube just knows we're doing horror shit today. It is l setting all the music to the horror shit. Somehow the YouTube playlist knows. <laughs> it's playing all the, the horror shit for whatever reason. Flower for the flower idea? Hmm, we can add this to the flower thing as well. That could be like its own idea and we can add it to the flower idea. Sure. Something like that. We'll come up with some ideas. Then we can do some voting. Once we get like a a good amount of ideas here, we can kinda like throw some polls up. If I can figure out how to do polls and we can kinda vote vote on the idea we want to go for. Uh, what should I have for, uh, dinner, Kenny? Oh, mac and cheese, definitely. I'd choose mac and cheese every time. Yeah, mac and cheese would have been my second choice there. Mac and cheese would have been my second choice. I love lasagna, though. One lasagna, one mac and cheese. He's gonna be the tiebreaker. Let's hear it. Alright, what's he having for dinner? Mac and cheese or lasagna? <laughs> Can I do a poll? <laughs> Maybe this could be my quick little test to figure out how the hell to do a poll. Because I don't know how to do a poll. How do you do a poll? Do I do <laughs> it here? Maybe this could be my... How do you do a poll? Do I have a poll channel point thing? I have no idea how to do a poll. Do I need to add it in Dream Labs, maybe? Sources. Poll? Poll. Add source poll? Maybe here? How does this work? Poll type cloud by option one, option two. Yeah, I think we could do it here. Maybe. Oh, someone said lasagna. Who said lasagna? Who was that? I think someone just broke the tie. El Gordo says lasagna. El Gordo says lasagna. Oh, I think I need to do it from the creator dashboard. Oh, okay. That might be better, actually. Let me just get rid of this. Uh, let me delete. Yeah, remove poll. 
We could do a test real quick just to figure it out. Because I want to do polls later, anyways. Stream manager. Um, also, I missed a... Hyperons, hey? What's up, Hyperons? What you got going on? Stream manager? Okay, here, let's see. Manage poll. Create a new poll. Question. What is Marius having for Din? Din Din. Um, sponsor one. Mac and cheese. Sponsor two. Uh... Lasagna. Does that work? Duration? We'll, we'll just make it one minute. Uh, hold on. Do I have to assign channel points for you to vote? Because I don't want to do that. I don't want you to, to spin. Let's see. Uh, let me know if it makes you use channel points. Because I don't, I don't want you to have to use channel points to vote. I did it. Does it make you use channel points? No channel points needed? Cool. Hell yeah. Alright, let me catch up here. Hey there, what's up Hyper Hyperonks? I just had a, a mac and cheese pie. Is it slash poll? I don't know myself. We figured it out. Carry up. I'm uploading a 45 second YouTube video of a uh, short clip from uh, my horror game in UE5. Thought it might give you some inspiration ideas of a uh, game mechanic. Sure. I could check it out. Stream manager. Hell yeah. There we go. Uh, Mr. Dodo. I appreciate the sub. Welcome in. Um, got it. But now we'll wait for poll. Yeah, let's see what the poll came out with. Ooh, it looks like Mac and Cheese is winning. Did Mac and Cheese win? I think Mac and Cheese won. Mac and Cheese won. What? Mac and Cheese won. <laughs> well, now we know how to do polls, though. <laughs> There you go. <laughs> Good old mac and cheese one. Uh, here, let me catch up here. Um, I don't think so, to be honest. I think you need to do it from your creator dashboard. Yeah, got it, but now we'll wait for the poll. Because now I'm excited to have the democracy, democracy choose. Hell yeah, democracy. Cheesy lasagna. Hell yeah. Excellent. Now people remember my dinner lies in your hands. <laughs> You've done it. Marius trusted us. <laughs> no channel points needed. Hell yeah. GG's. Row row. 50-50. Yeah, the mac and cheese won though. Uh-oh, it's still a tie. <laughs> yeah, it cost me all of 900,000 channel points. Can you give them back? 900,000? That's a lot. Am I going to have to eat both? <laughs> Marius going to have to eat both mac and cheese. I'm <laughs> sorry. Now I'm obsessed with uh, making the flower collection work somehow. You're talking about uh, like coming up with uh, ideas for it? I think it could work. Someone broke the tie, mac and cheese, mac and cheese, woohoo, hell yeah. All right, people, thank you for deciding today. Hell yeah. All oh, fine. Uh, hard working on my projects. Hell yeah. Which project are you working on right now? Marius, aren't you uh, Norwegian or Danish? How dare you eat mac and cheese? <laughs> Welcome, go and enjoy your, enjoy your mac and cheese. Hell yeah. <laughs> Each uh, story slash soul quest is a uh, collection of uh, petals, soul, or uh, memory frag fragments you need to uh, gather to assemble a whole flower. Um, you think you're saving uh, others the whole game, but instead you're actually re uh, reassembling yourself. We could throw that in there as well. Here, let me copy this. And we'll do this here. Actually, let's do kind of like what we did for one. Let's add um, 5.1. And we can add this last thing that you added to it. We can add that to 5.1 right there. And then we can add 
5.2. This will be what you just wrote. Like that. And there we go. We'll do a save. Alright, uh, let me catch up on YouTube here. Um, Voidzy VR, hi. What's up, Voidzy? What you got going on? What up, what up? What up, how I do? Norwegian. Do y'all eat the, that lots in Norway? I've never heard someone eat it here. Probably bomb, though. I sent some of my music, by the way. Uh, by the way, the mac and cheese overwritten the message. <laughs> Hell yeah, where'd you send it? Did you send a link? Is that what happened? You you sent a link, but it but it died, I think. <laughs> yes, ideas for the story, but my brain like needs to make the flower collection mechanic work. I'm not sure why I'm so focused on this. Hey, if you like the idea, you like the idea. Now nah, it's not common, but I'm influenced by all these uh, Americans around me. Oh yeah, mac and cheese is amazing. So now it's guns and mac and cheese. Guns? Where did guns come into play? Most time working on Hyperons, sci-fi uh, survival, ARPG, hell yeah. How long have you been working on that one? You've probably told me before, but it's hard to keep track of everyone's games. <laughs> but hell yeah, how's that been going? America, fuck yeah, hell yeah. SoundCloud, here we go. He's gonna shoot people who try to steal his mac and cheese. Oh god. Here, let's check out your your music. Let's take a listen. None of this is copyrighted, right? I can listen to this and not have to worry about copyright. I'm gonna wait on the answer before I listen to this. One year in March? Oh wow, you're pretty deep into it. How far do you say, uh, how far would you say you are from, from finishing it? Now nah, no copyright here. Let's play some then. Uh, let's go for this one since it's about two minutes. Or if you have one you recommend. Try to keys you would skip. Yeah. So we'll listen to this. Hell yeah. You play friggin' piano. Whose music is that? It's honestly bad. Um, Begrudge the Light is decent. You think we should listen to that one? We can go to that one. Right here. Let's listen to this one. Mm, you find out you were actually saving yourself the whole time? Um, at the end of the game, it's revealed you are making yourself whole, only to find... You're stuck in a uh, loot room making yourself, only to be shattered all over again. Ooh. Here, let's add it. Let me grab that. Um, would we add that to 5.2? I feel like that kind of works well with 5.2, right? The last one that you wrote? I think that works well in the 5.2 idea. Damn, you well in on the piano. <laughs> hey.
Hell yeah, that shit's good. Friggin' whaling. Honestly, you bad. <laughs> Damn, that shit's good. Hell yeah, dude. Friggin' amazing. Kroger always gives you see- Oh god, that freaking ad. <laughs> I didn't know SoundCloud had ads like that here. Let me catch up on YouTube here. Um, True Bones Motions Animation Studios. Hi, Mozart. What's up, True Bones? What you got going on? Albin C. Babu, new game. Yay, indeed, indeed. Yeah, we're coming up with a, uh, we've been coming up with some horror ideas here. We've got, like, ten-ish ideas. I mean, six, but we have, like, other little sub-ideas and a few of these. <laughs> but what up? What you got going on? All right, let me catch up here. Um, But I tried an alt-rock. It's broken-hearted soul. The mixing is ass, but it was just to try on a different genre. Hey, it'd be all right. Who needs mixing? Who needs it anyways? Uh, your trusted companion who you think may be an imaginary friend or hallucination is actually a demon slash devil helping you instead. It's just along for the uh, ride, having feeding off your struggles and savoring the emotional devastation when you figure out the truth. And this is for the flower game, right? We can add this. Here. Kamiko going all out on the flower game. <laughs> going all out on the flower game. <laughs> Honestly, you bad. I am before. Uh, this is all copyrighted? Oh god. I hope not. Got him? Hell nah. Good stuff. <laughs> Lawsuit Inc. Hell nah. Uh, poker. Always gives you blah blah blah. <laughs> American ads? Yeah, good old America. You should see the British ads. A bunch of people crying over tens of baked beans. <laughs> baked beans? What is it? Uh, baked beans and what is it that the the British people eat with baked beans. I forget what it is. I love creative. Oh, oh, we got ads. Beans and toast. That's what it is. Beans and toast. Yeah. All right, we got ads. Let's wait on the ads. Hell yep. Yeah. Alright. Uh, I love creative brainstorming sessions because I can throw out ideas all day or build off of someone else. Best part of it, uh, that I never have to decide. Just an endless word. Uh, vomit joy. Yeah, creative session, Like, just idea sessions. Because there's like, you know... There's like no real, like... Uh, I don't know, like... You don't have to be hard on yourself. You can just throw out shit and... See what the hell comes out of it. Uh, Lord Candy sent a link. Let's see what it is. What is this? This is a British ad. Let's see what a British ad is. 
Beans means Heinz. <laughs> oh wow, you are joking. He's literally crying over his beans. Oh, I don't know about the music though. I don't know if that music's copyrighted or not. He is crying though. <laughs> Dude is crying in the club. <clears throat> does it show beans at the end? Yep, it does. There are the beans. You got his beans. Hell yeah. Hell yeah. Good old beans. Oh, uh, let's see. <clears throat> At this point, it might just be called the flower game. <laughs> hey, we've got some other ideas here. We've got like six other ideas. We're definitely going to grab some more too, though. Donald stream, though, probably copyrighted. Oh, whoops. I wish I would have read that part first. Whoops. <laughs> uh, let's see what Stitcher King threw out. <laughs> the music I made? Yeah, I turned it down once I heard the music. I throw, get rid of that. Uh, let's see. Is this your game? Hell yeah. So dark. So spooky. Getting hella batteries. Hell yeah, got the inspect. Hell yeah. Looks friggin' dope. Hell yeah, hell yeah. Beans on toast. Beans, man. You don't like beans, Marius? I like beans. Beans are pretty good. <laughs> Set the video, by the way. It's not the poster song yet. Gotcha, gotcha. Uh, I highly doubt the video itself is. Yeah, yeah. The video is probably fine, but you never know with music and shit. Yeah, just prototype type stuff. I like when games do those uh, outlines around items. So I did the same. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Outlines are really cool. Yeah, I've done that in a few prototype ideas as well. Hell yeah. Dude, the jump scares from uh, Sons of the Forest Caves made me nope out of the whole game. Really? I think the how often you get raided in, in Sons of the Forest is like... They need to chill out with how often the raids and shit happen. You're like, you can't, you can't build your damn base. You can't build your damn base in Sons of the Forest because, like, you are literally nonstop getting attacked. This shit's stupid. They're below average. You don't like beans. I like beans. I like beans. But you are having some good ass mac and cheese though, right? <laughs> jump scares? Yeah, I couldn't. Yeah, some jump scares. Some every now and again a jump scare will get me. Those bats fuck me up every time. Hell yeah. I still haven't played the 1.0 to Sons of the Forest. Yeah, it's pretty good. Oh damn, you already done with the mac and cheese? Okay, so let's see. Let's um Let's see what other idea Gemini gives us. I really liked this idea, the 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 music one. Uh, let's write something else. Let's see what else we get here. Cheese is pretty much a winner on anything. Oh, dude, I could put cheese on everything. Throw that shit on ice cream. Gemini over Chat GPT, in my opinion. Yeah, I, I'm definitely liking that idea that it gave. 
Well, let's see. The Watchmaker's Apprentice, a clock tower nestled in a bustling steampunk city. The clock tower, once a uh, marvel of engineering, is now shrouded in mystery and rumored to be haunted. He plays Evelyn, a curious and intelligent young woman recently hired as the apprentice to the enigmatic uh, reclusive clockmaker, uh, Alistair Thorne. Uh, as she assists him in maintaining the uh, intricate clockwork mechanics, Evelyn uncovers hidden messages and cryptic symbols embedded within the clock gears and faces. These messages hint at a dark past and hidden uh, purpose for the clock tower. As, El uh, as Elvin delves deeper into the clock tower secret, she starts experiencing strange occurrences. The clock faces seem to shift in the darkness. Shadows morph into unsettling shapes. Hydrate. And uh, whispers that goes through the uh, dusty, dusty corridors. These uh, disturbances seem to be connected to the hidden messages, suggesting an entity trapped within the clock tower itself. I mean, it seems kind of cool. I'm not super sold on it. I like some of the ideas behind it. Find it. It could be cool. Do we like this one? Oh, fuck yeah. You like that one? A steampunk horror game sounds really good. Yeah, the steampunk like idea behind it sounds cool. OMG, the airport port smells like fresh donuts. Oh yeah, donuts are good. Cheese on pancakes, huh? Yeah, cheese on pancakes, cheese on ice cream. Oh fuck yeah! In Sweden, we sometimes eat sausage oh, uh, with fuck pancakes. Yeah. That's pretty normal. We do that here too. Yeah, we do that here too. Hell yeah! I think it's a great base to build off of. Yeah, we could take the parts we like from it and change some things about it. I'm not sure about the clock tower thing. Although, I guess it's not. I don't know. Something about a clock tower throws me off. I don't know why. But we could throw this in here. I don't know. The more I think about it, it seems it seems okay. It seems okay. <clears throat> that one is cool as fuck. Hell yeah. I really like uh steampunk, honestly, uh best I've heard so far. Oh, you like this one? This is your favorite one so far? Hell yeah. <laughs> yeah, I can see that it's not too far from bacon, so I guess it's good. Yeah, yeah, we eat sausage and stuff too. Does it have to be a clock tower? Yeah, yeah. We could change it to something not a clock tower. For sure. I love Liza P. Perfect steampunk. If you ask me. Lies in P? Or you mean lies of P? Sweden just copied our uh, our products. Just like with uh, b ballerina cookies. <laughs> Gotta have thieves. Oh, Mario is calling him out. And I see some people uh, look at me like I belong in a mental institute when I mention that. As well as when I uh, mentioned that I eat boiled pasta and milk for breakfast on weekend. What? Boiled pasta and milk? I don't know about that one. <laughs> Does it have to be a clock tower? Could be a crazy maze or a castle. I mean, the clock, I'd, like, the clock tower, now that I'm kind of sitting on it, it doesn't seem like that bad. But when I initially read it, I guess like the first half of it, it se when I was reading the first half of it, it threw me off. But once I read down here, I was like, okay, that 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 seems cool. My initial feelings up in here, though, were kind of like, hmm. But this part kind of made it cool. Uh, let me catch up on YouTube. Um... Red eye, Raj, hi, shout out, what up, what you got going on, what up, what up, is that me, or is that, is that Lord Kitty again, oh, that one was actually me, <laughs> that one was actually me that time, 
my external hard drive came loose. <laughs> I don't know if it's me or not now. You? Yeah, that one was me. That one was me. <laughs> yeah, uh, yeah, Liza P, typo, my bad. Yeah, Liza P was great. Liza P more like, Liza sweet, nah, nah, nah. I just, lots of love. You, uh, snus brother. Nah, I never wear, I don't get hooked on, uh, nicotine either. So it's kind of useless for me. You, hell yeah. Halfway to uwu, don't say that. Don't say that. I fucked, been addicted to, for that, to that shit for over 10 years. Yeah, me too, man. Freaking nicotine. <laughs> kind of makes me think of, uh, if the Winchester Mystery House and the, uh, Serial Killer Murder House had a baby. Yeah, this would, it could be cool. It could be cool. We could do some cool shit with it. <laughs> Mario's supposed to trade your wallet, man. Oh, same here. Oh, no. Oh, no. I'm almost at Uwu. No! Why does everyone go for the Uwu? Why? Why? Why do you do this? All right, let's do another one. Uh, Let's see. Let's see what else we get. Steampunk horror game set in a train station in the beginning of Liza P. Creep Me the the F out. Um, we could type that in. Uh, let's read this one and then we'll type that one in. Let's see what this one gave us. Um, the Unfinished Symphony, a once a renowned concert hall, uh, now a forgotten uh, relic of a begone era. Dust boats dance in the faint light. Uh, filtering through stained glass windows and the silence is broken only to be by the creak of floorboards and the echo of distant memories. You play as Evelyn. Man, they really love the name Evelyn, don't they? <laughs> play as Evelyn, a young violinist with a passion uh, for reviving lost pieces of music. This one's almost identical to that other idea, though. The, uh... Which one was it? Where did it go? Yeah, the Opera House one. It's almost identical, as far as I could tell. But let's finish reading it. While researching forgotten composers, she stumbles upon the story of Elias Thorne, a brilliant but enigmatic musician who vanished at the peak of his career, leaving behind. Well, I guess that's a little different. Leaving behind an unfinished symphony, drawn by the mystery, Evelyn decides to investigate the abandoned concert hall yeah, where Elias was fun last seen. Um. PM Teddy, hey, I appreciate the follow. Welcome in. As Evelyn delves deeper into the uh, decaying concert hall, she begins to experience strange occurrences. Yeah. So let's. Yeah. We can grab this one. Um. Here, let me catch up here. I got behind. Um. <clears throat> let me go ahead and copy this one too. Steampunk horror game set in the train station. You can copy that one. Uh, people would tell us to quit. Uh, quit it. But they don't know how hard it is to do that. Dude, it's so hard. Nicotine is crazy addicting. But I just 10x the points, and I can have a custom come in. Hell yeah. True. We want to see your uwu face? Why, though? Is the CD on uwu five minutes? Imagine if there wasn't one, and we could all send one at the same time. I had to uwu five times. I don't remember what the countdown is. Or the uh, cooldown. Smoked for around six or seven years from when I was 13. Damn. Eventually quit, and now I vape? Hell yeah. I like the same Amanda Wise, or just, uh, the last name Wise. Could fit for a horror game. <laughs> yeah. I mean, Evelyn works. Evelyn what does work. Ooh, but the music can, uh, really transform the game and set the mood. We did paste that one in here, right? No, we didn't. Here, let me copy this. Uh... 
Let me copy this whole thing. Right here. Oh, whoops, not right there. Okay. Cool. Um... I see, yeah, really hard to quit when you don't even have to go outside. The accessibility is too easy. Dude, I know, right? PM Teddy, thank you. Hey, I appreciate you joining in. Are you also a... Uh, I'm assuming you're a dev, right? You also a dev? But I'll quit when I'm dead, I promise. Nah, you'll still be in the grave smoking. <laughs> We're such a rowdy, rowdy crowd in here that it's like... You have 100 viewers? Yeah, it's pretty busy in here, man. It's pretty busy. Any chatters? Hell yeah. Yeah, I'm definitely voting for a steampunk horror game. I DM the story. Or where, but Steampunk uh, seems sick as hell, yeah, hell yeah. Yeah, Steampunk horror does seem cool. Evelyn is uh, crazy and she's the reason the composer is missing because she killed him. <laughs> Here, you want to add that to it? We could add that. We can add that as a, a, a an 8.1. 8.1. <laughs> Evelyn is crazy and she's the reason the composer is missing because she killed him. <laughs> um, steampunk musical horror. <laughs> Let's go. <laughs> I wish I could quit vaping, man. I did quit at one point and then my dumb ass got back on vaping and cigarettes. I quit both. I was completely off of nicotine for a while and I got back on it like an idiot. Busted old Teddy Robot singing on stage with a uh, spotlight on it. The closer you get, uh, the more distorted the singing becomes until it pops out to attack you. Is this for a new idea or is this for the uh, that music idea? Yeah, right. There will be... <laughs> no, I'm just watching you and uh, following your tutorials and stuff. Hoping to be a dev. Oh, nice, nice. Well, how long have you been, uh, how long have you been learning? We're coming up with uh, new game ideas right now. Here, let me catch up on YouTube over here. <laughs> El Gordo, here's an idea. You're a knight, gets transfo uh, transported to the Lord of Uwu, where you're, <laughs> you're hunted by e-girls? Is this a real idea? This sounds like... This sounds like... Kind of... I, I don't know. I guess I'm kind of cool with comedy horror. Why not? We could throw it in the idea list. Let's throw this one on chat GPT though. Right here. Well, we could just throw, I guess we could just throw that in the list here. <laughs> Let's just throw it here. All right, so what number should we get to before we start voting? Let's say a max of like, well, on the poll, we can have up to four. We can have up to four different things, I believe. Let me check that. I think it's up to four, four different things. Let me check the poll thing. Yeah, we can have one, two, three, four. No, 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 we can have five. We can have five. Okay. So let's get up to... Let's try to get this bad boy up to... to we can probably get it up to 20. All right. If we get to 20, that'll give us... A shitload of ideas. Alright, let me... Let me catch up here. Get up to like 20 and then we'll start doing some voting. <laughs> Kamiko, you got great taste. Anyone can be. Go make games. Yeah, yeah, you could definitely... 
definitely do it it just takes some practice you got this and i want to hear uh i want her to experience pain with every discovery to tattoo being carved into her flesh for which one is this for an idea i quit for two years worse two years of my life yum 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 nicotine dude nicotine you're making me want some some nicotine <laughs> well i got my vape here Um, your save points are, uh, are old gramophones, gramophone or blank sheet music. Oh, this is for, uh, this is for the, um, this is for the, I'm guessing the, the music one, right? So let's add this to 8.2. We'll just add that at the end. Now that sounds like a good game. Make the boobs super jiggly. You're talking about the e-girls game? <laughs> Wiggle physics? The e-girl game? <laughs> Chat don't make Carrie have to code that. <laughs> it would be hilarious though. <laughs> Is Gemini free? As far as I can tell, I just loaded it up like today for the first time. About half a year, the problem with uh, most tutorials on YouTube is that it's basic stuff that's repeated over and over, but your tutorials are so in-depth, they are amazing. And I truly learn from them. They go way beyond the basic stuff. Hey, well, I'm glad you're learning them. Yeah, I remember when I was learning, my favorite tutorials were the more, kind of more detailed ones. So that's kind of, that's kind of where I got my style from was some old tutorials that I watched. I, I personally enjoyed the more in-depth ones as well. Uh, you can make a straw poll.com, I think. What is this? How does this work? I mean, it seems to be a poll. I mean, I think the Twitch polls are fine. Twitch polls should be fine. But it would be... Could we add this to YouTube? So that YouTube can poll as well? Because if that can do this, that could be worth it. Um, best way to learn, figure a game you would want to play, then just start making it. If it's ass, it's fine, but it's the best way to learn. Yeah, that's how I learned. I just made projects until either I couldn't keep going with it because I didn't know what the hell I was doing. Or I just wanted to do something else. Like I'm at the point where I kind of know what I'm doing and figured out a lot of, uh, a lot on my own with, uh, not too much chat GPT or Googling. Hell Yeah. Yeah, it gets there. It definitely gets there. I, I still definitely do, like, research and shit like that. Man, I really want to get that a Pacific Drive game and just play today. Do it. What's stopping you? Is it horror adventure or just uh, puzzle explorer? That tastes great, I know. You're talking about, like, the overall, like, idea? I mean, we're I'm cool, we're cool with, like, any kind of horror, pretty much. Any new on that GDD, Lord Kenny? I one day I'll take that uh, step too. For now, I'm just uh, content learning as much as possible. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You'll get there. You'll get there. Just, just keep going at it. You'll get there. Can't type today. Any news on the GDD? I can never type Marius. Words are hard. <laughs> Words are hard. Listen, all I'm saying is. You know what I'm voting for? Uh, are you voting for the 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 e-girl game? Is that the one you're voting for? <laughs> Rabbit e-girl zombies? I'll generate a link. Just uh, send it in. Uh, it'll generate a link. Just send it in both chats. Oh, okay. Yeah, I might grab this then when we start the polls. They want to eat you? You want to let them? <laughs> the e-girl game? <laughs> I think you could have up to uh, 20 choices, so it's better than Twitch's five. See, the way that I'm wanting to do it, I kind of like the 
just five because we only have right now we only have about 20 people in here so like the way i would like to do it is to like maybe have like four or five and then we vote between the four or five and then we'll set that one aside and then we'll vote, vote on like another four or five kind of like the hierarchical like competition kind of thing so like we'll have like four or five vote on one cancel that one out and we'll just keep going through a list like that and then the ones we end up with at the end we'll vote for all of those and then whichever that one is we'll win um it's almost done but it's now super long <laughs> hell yeah then it's gonna be time to work on the damn game i just keep, just keep summoning you via carry yeah just be just when i read it out <laughs> oh yeah i got distracted did any of you play uh slay the prince uh work distracted me yeah i haven't played it i haven't played it yeah i'm still writing it hell yeah from now on i'll just write at Carrie Chronic, Carrie, Kenny, hell yeah. <laughs> Looking forward to uh, taking a gander, hell yeah. Yeah, that works, sucks for your uh, YouTube frogs. I mean, we could still, like, do that. We could still grab the, uh, the link thing that you sent, right? And we could still send both, to both chats, right? Tournament style voting? Yeah, tournament style voting. That's kind of how I want to, want to try it. Okay, so, let's get us another one. We need more ideas. We might just do like one really, really long stream today because, uh, because we got to get these ideas done and voted on. So, let's get another one. Oh yeah, I never copied your steampunk train idea. Let me see if I can go back that far and grab it. Where was it at? It was somewhere up this way. Somewhere around here. Yeah, this, let me copy this one. Let's throw, um, can I make like a new, new chat? Does my old one save? Because I would like that one to save. Doesn't look like it. Does it save your activity, maybe? Some activity may not appear yet. I guess it does save it, but... Let me just go back. Let's add a new chat. Let's add the steampunk one here. Oh, Jay, I want to watch you play it. Oh, we got ads. Here, I'm going to... While we got ads, I'm going to go ahead and do a pee break. Then we'll come back, get some more ideas. I will be right back.
All right, I'm back. I'm back. So here, let me catch up on YouTube real quick. Um. Um, our theory. Hey, Carrie, excited to see what you're going to uh, make today. Hey, I appreciate it. Well, we're just coming up with ideas today. We're just coming up with ideas right now. But yeah. If the Uber game gets voted in, I'll do some uh, voices acting for you since I created <laughs> Hell yeah, I appreciate it. Jesse, hey, how are you? How's it going? It's going good. What you got going on? We're coming up with uh, some horror games idea. Horror game ideas. What up? How are you? All right, let's see. <clears throat> oh, wow. Here, let me just go down. I'm way behind. Oh, yeah, we're past all this, too. We're somewhere down here. <clears throat> here, here's where I was. OMG, I want to watch you play it. I might, I might can play it at some point. We can play some games at some point. Is there not a polls feature on YouTube? Yeah, but like, if I do a poll on... I mean, we, could we do that? We would have to do some math to figure out what won. <laughs> we could do it like that. Do a poll on Twitch and then do on a poll on YouTube and do the math. <laughs> Just figure out what won. We'll be right back real quick. I'm satisfied with Steampunk. Hell yeah. I want to see your reactions. Hell yeah. You always leave me satisfied. <laughs> Hell yeah. A bunch of spanks and whips and... Dodge. GDD is finished. Hell yeah. There's one more section that I could uh, do, and that's the development team section, and I'm debating whether or not I need that bit. I mean, not at the minute anyways. Yeah, you can always add it later, too. Counter spank. Yeah, spank me, daddy. Enough. <laughs> spank. Carrie's gonna be like, what the fuck is going on in here? Oh, his chat used to be way more wild and less the command. Oh, yeah, we, we used to talk about some crazy shit. We used to talk about some crazy shit. <laughs> okay, so let's get us... Let's get the... Actually, you know what? We... We could just throw that steampunk train idea in here, right? Steampunk horror game set in a train station. We can add that as number 10. So we just need 10 more. We need 10 more. And then we can start start the voting. So let's go back to Jim and I here and grab. Oh shit! It would be nice if I could find the activity thing. Uh, let me just go way back up in the chat and see if I can find that. I won't let me go that far. What do we type in? Carry the GDD is finished. Hell yeah! Hell yeah. Where can such a GDD be previewed? People want to see it. People want to see the GDD. <laughs> they want to steal your ideas. All right, let's just... How did we have... What did we have typed in? It would be nice if we could find our app to... Oh, right... Right here. Can we go to this? Right here. Can we click on this? Yeah. Yeah, we'll just copy that. So it did save the activity. Good. Yoink, got him. Hell yeah. I mean, it's all generated. Yeah, just kind of like what we're doing right now. It's already yoinked. <laughs> yeah. Lord Kenny yoinked it to begin with. <laughs> okay, so let's see what this one is. Ooh, the gardener. The Symphony of Decay. Uh, you play as the gardener, a young woman who tends to a, a magnificent uh, sprawling garden, teeming with a bright, vibrant life. However, something is amiss. Flowers will unexpectedly once healthy. This one's almost exactly like the other one, but... And whispers of despair seem to emulate from the uh, neglected corners of the garden. Um, the game's... Initial beauty lies in the vibrant garden and the gardener's uh, peaceful routine. You care for the diverse flora and fauna, tending, uh, tending to them with love and knowledge. 
like calming uh, music uh, companies, your exploration, creating a sense of uh, serenity. As the game progresses, the beauty decays. Yeah. I've just been sitting here writing it word for word. Hell yeah. I use ChatGPT to generate mine as well. Dude, chat. Yeah. If you're not a writer, this shit is super useful. Uh, let's do. Let's do something else, because that one's super similar to that other flower idea. Uh, Lost Letters. You play as Amelia, an aspiring writer who stumbles upon a collection of unfinished letters while exploring an abandoned library. As you uh, delve deeper into these letters, uh, the lines between reality and the stories blur, causing you to question everything you know. That one's kind of cool. The game starts in a charming sunlit library filled uh, filled with the comforting scent of old books and papers. The letters are beautifully crafted, each with unique uh, cal calligraphy and colorful wax seals. Reading the stories within the letters transports players to various scenarios, each with its own distinct atmosphere. As Amelia gets invested, this one's pretty similar to the flower idea, but it's a different setting, so we can add it. Sure. Do we like this one? Do we want to add this one? Is anyone digging it? Obsidian keeps breaking my document? How so? How's it break it? I'm just going to generate something else. See what we get. What is Obsidian? Yeah, I don't even know what Obsidian is. Song Weaver. You play as Alara, a young weaver who, uh... A young weaver who lives in a world where emotions and memories are woven into tapestries. However, a mysterious force is unraveling these tapestries, causing chaos and emotional distortion. Uh, in the world, Alara, gifted with the ability to mend tapestries and manipulate emotions through weaving, uh, must embark on a journey to stop the un raveling and restore balance the initial focus is, is on the beauty of weaving and its connection to emotions Meh. Meh. i'm back when the voting starting we need we need 10 more we need 10 more and then we're gonna do the voting <laughs> i'm generating some ideas here the last few have been kind of meh let's generate another one yeah, 10. I want to have like 20. 20 to vote on. Sit into the uh, private and flexible note taking app. Oh, nice, nice. Um, the Whisper Glass. You play as Evelyn, a talented glass blower. Living in a uh, secluded uh, coastal town, she possesses an innate ability to capture sounds within her exquisite glass creations. Preserving whispers, laughter, and even music. But when a series of chilling whispers begin plaguing the town, Evelyn realizes these are not of this world. And her talent may be the key to unraveling the mystery and saving its uh, inhabitants. Hmm. Fourteen hundred points. Now as oh, you won. Hell yeah. What kind of points? What the fuck? It's just like. It's not channel points, it's just other other points. 1,375 points. Yeah, those points. It's just like Streamlab points. All in. <laughs> Putting them all in. Uh, the music stopped. Hey, let's go to something else, because it's been looping for a minute. Uh, let's just go here. <laughs> <laughs> you lost all your points. <laughs> Damn. Uh, ooh. The dollhouse. You play as Eleanor, a young girl recently orphaned and sent to live with her uh, estranged aunt in a sprawling, antiquated mansion. However, the house holds a sinister secret. A life-size doll, uh, life life, life dollhouse. 
and intrinsically detailed and eerily resembling the mansion itself becomes the focal point for Eleanor growing unease. She explores the house and delves into the dollhouse. She uncovers a chilling connection between the two and dark family history. That one sounds cool. That one sounds cool. Here, let's do, let's just do two more. We don't need 20. Let's just do two more and then we'll vote. Because that'll give us, we could do four votes per, per round. And that'll be, what is that? That'll be three rounds and then a final round. Um, this one's kind of cool. We can add it. 11. And we just, let's just get one more. And then we will do voting. Uh, here, let's see. Catch up on YouTube here. Another idea, you work at Walmart that gets overrun by Karen's zombie shooter though? Overrun? I don't know if we could make a Walmart, but we could do like a grocery store. Ooh. Let, let's, uh... A zombie shooter? Let me think of how to work. Well, we can, we can, we can add this in here. That'll give us 12. And then I see another idea too. We can, we can, we can add that. Oh, we got another idea there too. Okay. Looks like we'll get a bunch. You work at a grocery store. It gets overrun by Karen's <laughs> zombie shooter. Cool. Okay. And let me grab these other ideas here. Uh, how about a story where you enter a mental asylum that you uh, thought had riots and got overrun, but there is a super supernatural things going on there. The highest in command at the uh, mental hospital contacts you uh, through a radio in a cell asking you to come find him. And that what has happened is much deeper than what you might think you enter it uh as a reporter or something sure we can add this and then i'll grab that last little part you said too And then I think honestly bad threw something out. Someone threw something out. Let me look. Uh, you're a late night pastry chef that works alone at a shop, and these uh, and there's someone who or something trying to break in every night. Ooh, sure, we could add this one. Let's grab that. There we go. All right. So if we get one more, that gives us 15, and then that could still give us three. Three voting rounds. We got a bunch of ideas here. That's for sure. So one more. That doesn't sound very scary, to be honest. What, the pastry chef one? I mean, it could be. I'd punch the person try to break in. Yeah, but like, you could definitely make it scary. Uh, let's see. Let's see what we get here. Essence, Echoes of the Past. You play as Dr. Evelyn Walsh, a renowned uh, neuroscientist specializing in memory research while testing a new experimental technology allowing, allowing patients to access forgotten memories. She encounters a series of disturbance anomalies. Patients report fragmented visions, fragmented uh, snippets of alien landscapes, and unsettling whispers in an unknown language. As Evelyn delves deeper, the line between her own memory 
and those of her patients begin to blur, revealing a chilling truth about their shared past. That one's pretty cool. It's pretty similar to like the flower idea and stuff. As the patients delve into their memories, they encounter unsettling fragments. We could do that. You can add that one. Sure. Oh, is this damn Evelyn? It's always Evelyn. They love Evelyn, dude. They love Evelyn. Okay, so now we gotta figure out... Are we satisfied with this, or does anyone want to add anything else? Because we could go ahead and start the voting. Or we can add more. What do y'all think? Um, We can do a poll for this, whether we want to keep going. Or do the voting now. Voting time? Voting? We can do voting. Hey, let's do it. Let's do a poll on whether we make more ideas or start voting. We got a lot. We do have a lot. We do have a lot. We can do voting. We can do voting. Um. Oh, is this damn Evelyn Madge? I think it's because she keeps the same name for what she mentioned first. Yeah, maybe. Something like that. You gonna make a horror game as well? Three projects at once? You're a busy one? Well, I mean, I guess three. I mean, one of them's just a tutorial series, so it's not really a full project. But yeah, yeah, I wanted to have something on the side that's smaller than the RPG. Something that we can get done faster. Yeah, that's kind of the idea behind this. Uh, let's see. Phil's bow, flood it and electrify the water. What you talking about? What you talking about? I know, Trick, you can't gamble negative 1,000. <laughs> People just out here gambling. Give me my 500 buck and an extra 500 for my pain and suffering. <laughs> Stream Oh, <laughs> uh, yeah. Okay, so let's live hack. <laughs> I don't think it worked. I don't think it worked. Okay, so let's here. Let me uh, let me start making some of the polls. So, how we'll do this is we'll make a poll. We'll vote on. We have fifteen, so we can vote on five at a time. New poll. Poll one. So, let's see. Let me set up the poll. First, we'll do the uh, uh, medieval horror. Game. The second one will be the uh, escape room horror. Uh, third one will be Haunted Asylum. And while the poll is up, I'll, I'll go through and read these two. So you can kind of get an idea. Haunted Asylum. We'll have the poll up for like a few minutes at a time. Haunted Asylum. Okay, so fourth one will be the uh, Opera House. Uh, fifth one will be Flower Collecting Souls Game. Okay, so we'll leave we'll leave the poll up for let's do five minutes at a time because I gotta read through them too. But yeah. Alright, y'all ready? Y'all ready for this? Alright, so we're gonna start the poll. While the poll is up, I'm going to read through what the ideas are. So first one is a medieval horror game. We got a bunch of uh, a few different ideas here. 
You play as a brother Ather Atherlid, a dis disgraced inquisitor of the Holy Order, banished to the uh, frontier of the kingdom. Kingdom, uh, the Blighted Marches. This land is shrouded in perpetual mist, uh, plagued by strange occurrences and rumored to be a haven for heretics and dark secrets. Uh, takes uh, takes place in a town or city about a witch. Uh, that's one idea. We have another idea here for it. For it takes place in a town city about a uh, witch that is summoning the undead and demons and shit. <laughs> and then a third idea: you play as a uh, peasant being hunted by the uh, king for sport. So that's the first idea. Second one it was the Lord Kenny's escape room idea. So we're pretty open to things with that. Um, third one: haunted asylum. Players are paranormal investigators tasked with exploring an abandoned asylum that's rumored to be haunted. As they navigate the decrepit halls and shadowy corridors, they must solve puzzles and evade malevolent spirits that roam the premises. The game could incorporate atmospheric sound design and eerie visuals to intensify uh, the sense of dread. Fourth one, a decaying abandoned opera house shrouded in perpetual twilight. That one was really cool. I liked that one. Um... We don't have a lot of details on that, but yeah, basically an opera house horror game. Um, or, uh, and the fifth one, the the flower collection horror game. So a horror game about collecting flowers, and the flowers represent souls that had a uh, traumatic experiences, and the flowers send you into past experiences that have to that you have to get through to help free the souls. If you are set in, um, and another idea with it, you could do it set in medieval times too. Yeah. yeah. Yep. Voted for Opera House out of these fives. Can I vote as well? Will it let me vote on my own poll? Let's see if it'll let me vote. <laughs> um... Cool. Yeah, I voted for the Opera House out of these five. Hell yeah. Only four votes, but 13 viewers. Call your lurkers. Lurkers! We need votes. We need votes. Uh, we have to give you horror game ideas you don't have to we were kind of generating stuff in gemini but you could throw out ideas we're kind of done with ideas now though we're, we're doing the voting now okay um just add a plus one on the one we want to vote for otherwise yeah perhaps a delay be right back dinner time gotcha gotcha thank you man time for classic bangers and mash see you soon gotcha gotcha there's a tie, make a new one with the ties only. Yeah, that's, that's what we'll do if we tie. Ooh, someone voted medieval. Someone voted medieval horror. Looks like medieval horror is winning this one. How long do we have left? Getting, getting close to the end. Close to the end. close to the end you ever see horror engine on the uh, marketplace i made a couple of uh, games using it around a year ago yeah 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 we were just talking about that a little while ago what up yeah 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 what you got going on yeah oh someone came in with the abandoned opera house so those are oh someone came in with yeah, the medieval horror fun on the bun um mystics i appreciate the follow welcome in welcome in all right, so is it is it done? It's almost done. We're rolling up towards the end. If anyone wants to vote in on one. We got five games we're voting on. It looks like it's going to be the Medieval or the Abandoned Opera House. Right now, Medi Medieval Horror is winning. Opera House gang? Hell yeah. Oh, someone came in with the Abandoned Opera House. Those are tied now. Oh, damn. Damn. Are we going to have a tie here? We might have to do a tie poll right here at the end. It was a tie. It was a tie. 
Massive fan of horror. Love the ideas. Hell yeah. Yeah, I'd love me some horror. Yeah, we were... We, that's what we were doing today. We were just doing, uh... Coming up with ideas for a horror game to build. But how's it going? Abandoned Opera House in Medieval Time it is. <laughs> okay, so we gotta do a tie pull. We gotta do a tie pull for that one. Oh, we got ads too. <laughs> Announcing my vote can be bought. <laughs> Alright, so we're just gonna do a tie. Round one. Tie pull. Alright, so medieval horror game. Second one's gonna be abandoned opera house. We'll wait on the ads before we uh before I post this one. <laughs> Abandoned opera house in medieval times. Announcing my vote can be bought. Hell yeah. Go good, just finished work. How's your day going? Oh yeah, we're probably you might be in an ad. I'll wait. I'll wait. I'll wait on the old ad. Ads are about to be over. Ads are about to be over. All right, all right. So, here, let me catch up here. I'll go ahead and post the poll as well while I catch, catch up on the chat. All right, so, new poll. Oh, I almost spelled something wrong here. Round one, tie poll. So, it's between Medieval Horror Game and the Abandoned Opera House. So, we're going to start that poll. So, get your votes in. I'm going to go ahead and make my vote real quick. And let me catch up on the chats here. Um, here, let me see. going good just finished work how's your day today it's going good it's going good we're setting up uh we've been doing some ideas for some new horror games and it's been pretty fun we have finally made it to the uh to the voting part of it um my toenail take it or leave it can't be sent by letter through mail it'll pay you a toenail leaving it it will never arrive <laughs> post nord get that shit out of here yes it will the chat is going absolutely crazy today. Exciting times. Are right, here? Yes. I haven't had a single ad here because ad block. Ooh, lucky. Lucky. My ad block doesn't work on Twitch. Tis exciting times. The beginning of a new game. Indeed. Indeed. We shall see what it is. Opera House Gang, where are you at? If it ties again, then you incorporate both into one idea. Uh, Elgord. Oh, gringo? Hey, here to vote? Oh, you came to the Twitch side to vote. Hell yeah. Hell yeah. Welcome in. If it ties, does he flip a coin? I don't know. Is it tied? Right now, it's not tied. Right now, it's Opera House. Abandoned Opera House. By three votes. So we shall see. We shall see. Medieval horror or abandoned opera house? Hell yeah. Oh, we got another one for abandoned opera house. Damn, it was tied last time. I like the merge idea. We could, we could incorporate. But, I mean, did, he, did medieval... I guess they did have opera houses. The merge idea could be possible. Boo! Why boo? 
What are you booing about? <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Looks like abandoned opera house is getting it. We still got still got a little bit of while on it though. Then get your votes in. There's 17 people in here. And we only have eight votes. There's definitely definitely more votes that could be put in. Rolling towards the end of it. Looks like abandoned opera house is gonna steal it. That's so crazy because the last round they were tied. They were going back and forth. They were going back and forth. Oh, we got another one for abandoned opera house. Another one for abandoned opera house. All right, we got a few a few seconds here. Medieval could steal it if a bunch of people just voted on it real fast. Let's go. Yeah, it looks like it looks like Abandoned Opera House is going to get it. Abandoned Opera House gang. Right here at the end, it's almost over. Yeah, I think Abandoned Opera House got it. I think Abandoned Opera House got that one. Okay. Yep. Abandoned Opera House won that one. So let's start, let's, uh, let's add this. Let's make a new. Can I have more than one of these open at a time? Because that would be useful. Word pad. Does that keep the other one open? It does. Okay, so we'll make this one a. We'll make this one the winner's list. Uh, yeah, it's gonna be fun. Hey, our theory. I appreciate the follow. Welcome in. Welcome in. Had to come back to Twitch just to get that voted. Hey, I appreciate it. I appreciate it. All right, so let's uh let's call this um poll winners or uh, not winners winners and then we'll put number one uh abandoned. Uh, here, let me on my well, doesn't matter abandoned Opera house was the first winner. So Let's do the next vote So that's Let me make the poll We got a shitload of load of ideas here Let me create the poll here This one Two, round two here. And let me pull up the ideas. We ended on the flower idea, right? Um. Okay, here we go. Ooh, we actually only have 14. One of these I numbered wrong, but that's fine. That's fine. The last round will just be a little less. Um, all right, so this one is going to be the steampunk clock tower idea. First one, steampunk clock tower. Or second one will be 
Um, concert hall horror. Third one will be. Um. Oh, this one's the the E girls. This one's that one. God, I hope that one doesn't win this one, but we'll see. All right, so this one's a uh, knight hunted by E girl. Knight hunted by E girls. Um, next one is gonna be uh, steampunk train station st steampunk idea. Uh, I feel like I'm missing one. Did I? Sk oh yeah, yeah, yeah. That's right. Um, train station steam punk. Or and then one more let's add one more to it um so this one will be the mansion dollhouse idea okay so there we go we would do five minutes on this so ooh, ooh for live steampunk horror let's go yeah we got two of the different steampunk ones on this one and the uh and the e-girls one is on this one so we shall see we shall see okay so let's start the poll i'm gonna go ahead and make my vote real quick and then i'll read out kind of what these are um this one oh i don't know which one to vote for on this one actually i'll go for i'll go for this one okay so let me read let me read out what these are so you can get more of an idea before you vote. So. Alright, so we're right. Right here. A clock tower nestled in a uh, bustling steam talk city. This uh, clock tower, once a marvel of engineering, is now shrouded in mystery and rumored to be haunted. Um, this one, setting a uh, once-renowned concert hall, now a forgotten relic of a bygone era. Dust uh, moats dance in the faint light filtering through stained glass windows and the silence is broken only by the creak of floorboards and the echo of just its memories so yeah just a concert hall horror game um and we got the story to it you play as evelyn a young violinist with a uh, passion for reviving lost pieces of music uh while researching forgotten composers she stumbles upon the story of elias thorne a brilliant but enigmatic musician who vanished at the peak of his career, leaving behind an unfinished symphony, drawn by the mystery, Evelyn decides to investigate the abandoned concert hall where uh, Elias was last seen. And then, we got the E-Girls one. Your and I gets transported into a land of Ubu where you're hunted by E-Girls. That one was El Gordo's game. <laughs> and then, we got this one, steampunk horror game set in a train station. Pretty straightforward. And then the next one, uh, this one might be hard to understand, so I'm definitely going to read this one. All right, so this one, uh, you play as a, you play as Eleanor, a young girl recently orphaned and sent to live with her estranged aunt in a sprawling, uh, antiquated mansion. However, the house holds a sinister secret, a life-sized dollhouse, intricately detailed and eerily re uh, resembling the mansion itself, becomes the uh, focal point of Eleanor's growing unease as she explores the house and delves into the dollhouse she uncovers a chilling connection between the two and a dark family history so yeah those are the games <laughs> here, let me catch up on the chat here too opera house is uh more realistic 
No terrain faster? Yeah, yeah. I like I I personally voted on that opera house one. That's the one I voted on. <laughs> I like that one. I like that one. All right, let me catch up on the Twitch chat here. Um Woo woo for live steampunk horror. Hell yeah. Train station steampunk horror for me folks. Hell yeah. Guys, imagine a steampunk horror game set in a train station. Imagine like the beginning of Liza P, but horror. Bam, million dollar idea right there. I need your vote, Kenny. Come back. Yeah, we're, we're missing Kenny. We're missing Kenny's vote. I carry chronic Kenny. Kenny eaten. Kenny was like, I gotta go eat. He said, I gotta get some food. Let's see, which one's winning? Night Hunted by E-Girls. Oh, it was tied for a minute. Who was tying that one? <laughs> Train Station Steampunk. Train Station Steampunk Horror is winning at the moment. Kamiko, did you vote? I don't know. Kamiko might be working. Kamiko's at work. So she might not be aware that we're even voting right now. Guys, e-girls, waifus, money, done. <laughs> <coughs> oh, man. Train Station Steampunk Horror? Hell yeah. Four votes. Let's go. Come on. <laughs> hey, it's only two votes ahead of the night. The e-girls. I are stuffing my face with sushi now. Work done. Oh, hell yeah. Work done. Tego Bitty sells. <laughs> yeah, Tego Bitty sell. They do sell. And I did vote. Oh, Kamiko did vote. Hell yeah. We're rolling up towards the end. Looking like it's going to be train station. Steampunk court. Who oh, enjoys sushi? Yeah, yeah. Sushi's good. I like sushi. Alright. Alright. Looks like... Looks like... Train station steampunk horror one. <laughs> let's go it survived round one it did make it it did make it it did indeed make it so let's add it to the uh let's add it to the uh the poll winners train station steam punk or there we go all right so third round this is the last one before we vote on the uh like the actual winners so let me set up the poll we all bought resident evil village for the same reason <laughs> hell yeah okay so let's let me make this last poll or not the last one but the the final one before we vote on the actual winners all right new poll for game Round three. All right, so this one is going to be... Um, we only have four. We only have four on this one. So first one on this one is going to be a... This one was um, honestly Bad's idea. Uh, the horror of uh, the grocery store. Um. Grocery store Karen horror or let me read this again. Grocery store Karen horror. Uh next one is uh Mitu Asylum. The mental asylum idea that Stitcher had. I'll just call it mental asylum. I'll read out what it is when when we put the poll up. Oh, this one's the pastry chef idea. So, pastry chef. And we got the final one 
Oh, the neuroscientists. Or... So... And this is the last one. Neuroscientist. Okay, so we only got four on this one. There we go. So... We're gonna put up the poll. I'm gonna start the poll. Right here. And then... I'm gonna go ahead and make my vote. Real quick. Uh, there we go. This one... I'm gonna vote for that one. <laughs> okay. So let me read out what these are. So let me pull this up. Alright, so we're at... This one, 12. You work at a grocery store to get overrun, that gets overrun by Karens. It's a zombie shooter third one or the next one a story where you enter a mental asylum that you thought had riots and got overrun but there is a supernatural things going on there the highest in command at the mental hospital contacts you through a radio in a cell asking you to come find him and that's what happened is much deeper than what we thought uh you enter it as a reporter all right the next one you're a late night pastry chef that works alone at a shop and there's someone or something trying to break in every night that one and then the next one you play as a uh, dr e evelyn walsh a renowned neuroscientist specializing in memory research while testing a new experimental technology allowing patients to access forgotten memories she encounters a series of disturbing anomalies patients report fragmented visions fragmented uh, snippets of alien landscapes and unsettling whispers in an unknown language as evelyn delves deeper in the line between her own memories and those of her patients uh, begins to blur, revealing a chilling truth about their shared past. So yeah, those are the ones. Let's see what's winning. The Mental Asylum is winning right now. Neuroscientist Horror is right behind it. So we shall see, we shall see. Let me catch up on the, uh... Let's take a look. Let me catch up on the chats here. Um... Risky Umbrella, have you gotten to the uh, combat part of the Souls tutorial? Nope, we're right around the corner from it. So once we get our inventory and stuff done, uh, we're going to be um, kind of starting on combat. Like, you know, equipping weapons and stuff like that. <laughs> but we're getting close. Let me also catch up over here. Um... Who keeps adding emotes or is it automatic? Sorry, it's me, Marius. You can disable it though. Better TTP. Done adding for today. Hell yeah. Oh, no worries. Was just wondering if it was automatic or not. <laughs> pastry? Did you vote for the pastry one, Stitcher? Did you go pastry? Whatever game wins, gotta name it Evelyn. I know, right? They named every character Evelyn. <laughs> All right, let's see what's winning right now. Oh, it's Mental Asylum. With neuroscientists right behind it. Hell yeah. Pastry Chef and Grocery Store are tied. Those are tied. <laughs> no, I just like the emote. Hell yeah. Oh, they're tied. Mental Asylum and uh, Neuroscientists are tied now oh we might have to do another tiebreaker that would be crazy might have another tiebreaker around here oh exciting we'll see we got a few we got a few seconds left on it here someone could break the tie Crazy House 1 is uh, Outlast, isn't it? I don't know. I've never played Outlast. Is that what Outlast is? Is that basically what it is? Oh, the music stopped. Hold on. Yep, it's still tied. We got a few seconds here. Bubble won't let me vote anymore? What? Why? 
what? Well, if you just want to say your vote, or if you want to like message it to me on Discord, then I'll, I'll count it. If you don't want to just say it out loud. It doesn't matter though. If you want to just type your vote in. Is hiding the submit button? What? Asylum? Okay, so the asylum? Okay. So, Kamiko broke broke the tie with the uh, middle asylum one. So, that's the one that got it. So, let's add that to the winner list. Yep, it is. Interesting. I've never played that one. Okay, so, mental asylum. Or, so now... Damn, Kamiko, the deciding factor? Yeah, Kamiko came in and changed it all up there. Well, yay. Alright, so now we got one more round. This is the final round that will actually determine what it's going to be. So, let me make the poll for that. <clears throat> New poll. The final round. So, first one gonna be abandoned opera house. Second one is gonna be train station steampunk horror. Train station steampunk horror. third one is going to be the mental asylum okay <laughs> carry if the last round has a tie i think you should choose considering it is your game after all yeah i mean i like the idea of all three of these i'm actually really glad that all three of these ended up being the final result so like all three of these are like I actually voted for each one of these. Each one of the ones that won here, I voted for each one of those. So, all three of these are the ones that I liked. So, <clears throat> so we'll see. We'll see what happens. <laughs> Alright, so we're going to start the poll here. Final round. Final round for what it's going to be. I'm going to go ahead and make my vote. And then I'll read through what they are again, just to kind of refresh everyone. Alright, so let me read through these again. So, first one was the abandoned opera house one. Where's it at? Decaying abandoned opera house shrouded in perpetual twilight. I mean, I we we kind of come up with with a bunch of ideas for that. The second one was the steampunk horror. Um, steampunk horror game set in a train station. Also a pretty straightforward one. And then the uh, the asylum one. Where is that one? Story where you enter a middle uh, middle asylum that you thought had riots and uh, got overrun. But there is a supernatural things going on there. The highest in command at the mental hospital contacts you through a radio in a cell asking you to come to find him. And uh, what has happened is much deeper than uh, we might think. You enter it as a reporter or something. Yeah. So, yeah. But we could also, you know, and just kind of keep the concept too. Asylum, please. What's winning right now? Ooh, it's tied between abandoned opera house and... The Asylum. Oh, shit. <laughs> My great English right there. Hell yeah. Oh, we got more votes and they're still tied. What? Damn. We might we might do a tiebreaker round. No, guys, vote for Steampunk. Oh, yeah, I just realized your Steampunk one isn't isn't work isn't isn't winning. Oh, yeah. Damn. <laughs> I like the possibilities of messing with uh, reality and mental illness. Yeah, that one, it could be cool. It could be cool. 
Oh, Abandoned Opera House is winning. Abandoned Opera House has taken it. Taken, taken the vote. <laughs> Kemiko, I thought you wanted Steampunk? Oh, seems like she wants the, the Asylum one more, though. Oh, Abandoned Opera. Oh, we got ads. We got ads. The freaking ads. <laughs> Only if you don't kill me. <laughs> oh, did, is yours... Is yours... Were you able to vote? Or are you having to say your your vote out loud? Loud? Did it let you vote this time, Kamiko? Out loud? Okay, okay. So that means... Abandoned Opera House is still one vote ahead with your, uh, with your vote in there. <laughs> I mean, buggy yo, yeah, it happens. Almost over, though. Right now, Abandoned Opera House is winning. <laughs> Almost there. We're in the last few seconds. All right, let me catch up here. Okay, I changed my vote to Asylum. Uh, uh, abandon. Abort my vote. Oh, do you want to change it? To, do you want to... Can you abort your vote? Oh, it's tied now, actually. Mental Asylum is is winning now. Ooh. Ooh. I do like Steampunk, but Asylum for $50. I like the train station Steampunk. Just saying. Oh, did you... Were you able to vote? Did it not let you vote? Or are you having to say yours out loud as well? My left sock I'm using right now. Last offer. I'd be buggy yo. I already have a left one. Oh, okay. Okay. It's tied. Asylum. Is it going to be the middle asylum one? I think it. I think the middle asylum one won. It tied, but... Yeah. No, saying I could be ball. Oh, I see. I see. Teddy, what changed your mind? Okay, so I think middle asylum won. I mean, it's tied here, but Kamiko had to say hers out loud. Teddy, what changed your mind? <laughs> okay, so Mental Asylum. Mental Asylum. We're gonna go with that one. Hell yeah. Hell yeah. Damn, that was crazy. That was fun. That one was fun. So, the winner. Mental Asylum Horror. Uh. So. Sorry where you enter, uh, enter a Mental Asylum that you thought you had riots and got overrun. But there is a uh, supernatural things going on there. The highest in command at the mental hospital contacts you through a radio in a cell asking you to uh, come find him. And that what has happened is much deeper than what we might think. You enter it as a reporter. Hell yeah. Hell yeah. Steampunk Asylum? Let's go. <laughs> Steampunk Asylum. <laughs> Steampunk Asylum, that's hilarious. I think the asylum could have been uh, built over a mass grave. What do you mean? Oh, like, like for the idea, like the asylum was built, like in the game was built over a mass grave? It could be. Or like they were like, they, they buried a bunch of the patients and stuff. Like, there's a mass grave of the patients. Somewhere. Yes, but how, Stitcher? Yeah, I don't... Steampunk Asylum. Steampunk Asylum could be crazy. Nah, JK Asylum 1, let's go with it. But the story I wrote can be, uh, written. 
We don't like the idea of having a reporter go in with little info, discovering what actually happened. Yeah, we'll definitely take like uh take the starting idea and then we'll we'll kind of um we'll throw some stuff back and forth um with chat GPT and stuff. So in the next stream, that's what we'll do. We'll do some um we will do kind of like start up the the game design document of it and and all of that. Lord Kitty, you're back. The voting just ended. You missed all the voting. But how off? Yeah, here in a minute. Here in a minute. Here in just a momento. Oh, oof. Yeah, you missed all the voting. <laughs> yes. The house stitcher. Yeah, Carrie. Yeah. One or both. Yeah, we could come up with some cool ideas for that. I think that could be a good idea. Like, they have a bunch of the patients buried somewhere around there. You're an old resident of the uh, asylum, slipping in and out of reality. Hell yeah. That could be also a thing you could do with it. We might have some more things to vote on on the next one. With which, which route we want to go with it. So, like, what we'll do is what we could do is, um... Kind of throw in the mental asylum idea into, uh to some AI shit and then kind of do the same thing vote on like which route we want to take with it we're gonna have to have a new vote about the uh story of the asylum yeah that's what I was just saying yeah we might have to do another vote on which way we're gonna do which way we're gonna go with the the, the story hell yeah <laughs> No? Yeah. So the Mid to Asylum one, one, Lord Kinney. We're gonna do a Mid to Asylum horror horror game. So that, sh that should be cool. I'm with the local politicians and uh, psychiatrists are in cahoots and end up adding the, re uh, the reporter to the asylum in the end. Oh, that'd be fucked up. <laughs> They're trying to uh, develop uh, MK Ultra mind control shit. Yeah, it could be cool. Ryan Hawkins gambling 1%. Gamble 1%? Does it work that way? 1%? <laughs> but what up, Ryan? What you got going on? Sounds good to me, man? Yeah. Okay, so... So we got that voted in. That was fun. So let's go ahead and uh, call it here. Let's see if we want to... Let's see if we want to raid out to anybody. And then we'll come back and we'll do, uh, we'll start setting up the story and stuff for it. Start setting up the game design document and such. And vote on where we want to take the story with it. Um. Uh, let's raid out to Boda Smith. I haven't raided her in a while. She's playing some Resident Evil Village. Since we're on that horror grind here. Let's raid to someone who's doing some horror. Alright, see ya. If you're back later, catch you later. Yeah, we'll be back on. I'm, I'm just gonna take a break for a little while, and then we'll, uh, we'll come back and vote on some of the, the story and such. But hell yeah. That's why it sounds like supernatural shit, but they're all being microdosed on, a, on an acid cocktail. That'd be fucked up. But all right, I appreciate everyone for hanging out. I appreciate all the votes. It was fun. Uh, we're going to raid out to uh, Bodismet, who's playing some Resident Evil Village. So, I'll see you all in the next.